Hello Earth family, it's me Sabrina Savoy and we have a beautiful full moon coming up on October the 17th which is really quickly approaching. Now just pardon me while I adjust myself and get comfortable. I'm trying to fix the lighting here. Um, okay, so my approach to these videos is keeping it simple, casual, and bringing in the gift from the galactic. So I'm starting a series called Gift from the Galactic, where I tune into the sun and the moon and see what stars are lining up for the new moon and the full moon, and then bringing this energy towards us or awakening it within us. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, so today we, well, not today, but quite soon, we are going to have the moon and sun aligned with the star called Spica and Octurus. So Spica is found in the Virgo constellation, specifically the wheat sheaf that the goddess is holding so virgo is also known as the goddess and she carries a wheat sheaf in her hand and that's where you will find spica it's a bluish white star and it is about 250 light years away from earth um spica's gift to humanity is she polishes the wisdom that is innately in us. So you are not going to be gaining brand new information that you've never known before. What she does is a transference of consciousness. She can go into the depths of the super conscious and bring it into your waking state. So the vision I get when I think of Spica is a hand polishing a clear quartz crystal. So the energy coming from the sun, the spike in energy coming off of the sun is to make our uh, consciousness healthier, happier, really elevating uh, it to the next level. So I want to share that I now that I'm doing the full moon report, I can see how the new moon is really was really a stepping stone to this full moon. So let me just backtrack for you if you haven't seen the video. The sun during the new moon was trining a star called Hades, and the moon was conjunct the supergalactic center. So anytime the moon is conjunct the supergalactic center, it tells me that there is a focus on the mental emotional state of ourselves as well as the collective. And now when we bridge it with Hades, Hades, a lot of the Lyran refugees, the ones that survived the Lyran draconian wars fled to Hades. So they're, there represents this dark time, but overcoming the darkness. So we, in the new moon, we had an opportunity to become aware of the dark limiting beliefs that we held or are holding within our body. And now for this full moon, Spica and Arcturus are really ready to help us shed that skin, or let it go. Um, so with Spica now coming back into the present moment, Spica is here to enhance our innate brilliance. All of us already have magnificent wisdom stored within us. And Spica is here to make that awareness a little easier to find. It's like she's shining the flashlight on it. She's making you aware of a pathway that already exists within you. And now we're gonna bring Octorius into the mix. Now Octorius, let me just um, flip my page here because I did make notes. Um, Octorius has really signed up to be healers for humanity, to guide many of us, if not all of us, in our greatest healing. Um, 
So they are really here to help us usher in a new earth as they are holding the vision for our best future. They are at least seventh dimensional and uh, the star is like a, is a yellow color. So sometimes people feel a yellow orange glow when they tune into Arcturus star. Uh, the star is actually only 36 light years away from Earth and it's found in the Boots constellation. So the guides from Arcturus are, are showing up in many different ways. I have two Arcturian guides. One is named Shasta, like Mount Shasta, and the other one is a dolphin. Now the dolphin's name changes all the time, so I don't know if the um, if it's a new dolphin every time because it kind of feels the same, uh, or the name just keeps changing. So the name is kind of irrelevant, but um, I'm going to circle back to Spica for a moment because there is a little bit of information I wanna share about helping you tune into the spike in energy. Okay, so if you want to feel like some golden crystals are being shined from the inside out, like you're ready to polish your brilliance and really step into um, healing your subconscious, Spica tells me, work on your spine. So there are some physicalness that we have to take into our body, right? Healthy mind, healthy body, um, healthy life. Okay, so what we wanna do is work on cat and cow pose. So even just breathing in, even if you're sitting on a chair, extending your chest to the ceiling, and as you exhale, curl the spine, roll in. So just getting the spinal fluid moving um, and any kind of exercise that is good for the trunk of your body, that will also be beneficial to help this spike in energy kind of activate within you. So and this is moving the spinal fluid up and down and I also feel that many people uh, may have a kundalini awakening experience during this full moon phase. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, especially if you are doing the spinal uh, cord exercises. Um, now we'll go back to the Octurian side and let me share a little bit more. So. The star Arcturus is in a constellation called Boots. The image of Boots constellation is the hunter and the farmer. And what this really represents is the journey from the hunter gatherer into the herder and cultivator, someone that can lead and ultimately symbolizes the unity of our collective. So it's no wonder that so many of us are becoming aware of our Arcturian selves or Arcturian guides because they really are here to lead us into our higher paths and our higher future calling. So um, how can you be your leader? Okay, and what I am receiving is that the Arcturian gift to humanity is to show us that we are destined for a bright future. However, we need to accept the call and stand firmly in our sovereign power. And what I really love is that they're representing the prototype of Earth's future. They want us or they're encouraging us and working with us to be the walking master. Can you be your human self as a sovereign master? Someone who has learned how to work with the limiting beliefs and somehow let it go and wake up to our innate brilliance using that spike in energy. I wanna do a little group healing right now and I'm calling in the spike in energy, as well as the Arcturian energy. 
So wherever you are, whether you're just listening or watching, let's just take a breath together. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Take another couple deep breaths. Good. I just want you to imagine a beautiful dark blue galactic dragon that has this beautiful tail that just coils around your ankles. Breathe in, lengthen the spine, roll the shoulder blades back and feel the wing expanding behind you and then cocooning you as they gently close in front of you. And Spica is coming in and it's actually waking up inside of you. This energy already exists inside of you. So it's not coming from space into your body, but more of like it's waking up from your DNA and starting to shine a light into all those dark crevices we have in our psyche. And she's shining a flashlight on her super conscious and she's shining a flashlight on your subconscious. And there's a few pathways I see lighting up and it's being brought into your waking life as Octurius is just helping you ground this energy. Just helping you feel calm, blissful, graceful, knowing that you're ever loved and ever supported and cocooned in sovereign light. Good. Now, if there's anything you need help with, whether it's in your mind or in your physical body, say it out loud or say it in your mind, or when this video is done or pause it, write it down in a notebook and say, dear Spica, dear Octurius, can you assist me with healing this and healing that? And then remember it is through our responsibility and free will and conscious effort that these shifts can be made. Good. Good, so I'm gonna wrap up now. So just breathe in. I'm receiving blue and white light. Imagine it coming in through the nostrils and letting it go. And now we're gently tuning the frequency. Breathe in love. Breathe out love. Breathe in love. This love is just for you, swirling 360 in your body. Hold it. And then as you breathe out love, you're sending love to everyone on our earth, everyone in the galactic, thanking the Spikin beings, the Octurian beings, and all of your dragons, guides, and guardians that are here assisting you on your benevolence and your highest available timeline. Good. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when my next video comes out. So with much love and healing, thank you.